He's, he's worthy of our worship. And a big part of that is because we don't understand. I mean, Job 36, 26, look, God is greater than we can understand. Now, all of us have probably tried to understand the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wait a minute, there's three, but there's one. They're three and one. They're, wait a minute, they're one, but they're three. What in the world? How do, what? We've all tried to understand it. And, and many of us have come up with cute little ways, little, little metaphors to, to understand it, to kind of explain it. Like one of them, maybe uh, you've heard this, was there, the, you take an egg, there's three parts of an egg. There's the shell. Then on the inside, there's the white stuff. And then on the inside of that, there's the yellow yolk. But, but there's three distinct parts, but it's still one egg. Anybody heard of that one? Maybe another one's the clover, a three-leaf clover, a four-leaf clover. Not only are you lucky, but it blows this analogy away. But a three-leaf clover is it's the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. But they're all three individual leaves, but it's all part of one plant because it's all one thing. And, and then there's the water, the H2O. There's the form of water, there's the form of ice, and there's the form of steam. It's all water, but there's three parts and one thing. And we try to, to, to explain these mysteries by putting it in something we can understand. And it's cute and it's great, but here's the thing. Can we not all agree that God is not an egg? Can we start with that? God is like an egg? No, he's not. God is not like an egg. As a matter of fact, God knows the answer of what came first, the chicken or the egg. God knows why the chicken crossed the road. And God is the sole reason Truett Cathy doesn't sell chicken sandwiches on Sunday. God cannot be minimized down into, he's like an egg. Or he's like water. I mean, I understand why we do it. We do it because we want our, our minds to be able to bring God down to a level we can understand and explain we feel like we have to be able to explain him for him to be real but here's the here's the fallacy in that if you have to be able to figure God out before you trust him if you have to be able to understand God before you can surrender your life to him you don't need God because you are you've made yourself God